have to go to the police now. We can't, Pam. Larry, they'll protect us. I'll think of something. Please, for Christ's sake, don't ever think of anything else ever again. on the novelistic, I might almost say. Do you believe any of it, Sergeant? Here and there. Here and there. It has an occasional note of veracity. Otherwise, it could go straight onto the television. Or is that what you had in mind for it, Mr. Gormley? No, no, of course not. No? Selling it to the press, perhaps? No! I just want to forget the whole terrible thing. I wish I never set eyes on the cursed money. Do you know what the fascination of that money is? That money doesn't really exist, does it? How do you mean? That money doesn't exist because there's no record of it. No entry in any ledger or balance sheet. No bank statement or invoice, receipt or voucher of any description. The only life that money seems to have known is swanning around in briefcases and laundry bags. Now that's what I would call funny money. I mean, for one thing, the newspapers seem to imagine there was... 200,000 of it. But look at what's here. 20, is it, Sergeant? 24,310. Exactly. I explained to you what happened. But then, I mean, the papers. They are forever printing wild, unsubstantiated stories, aren't they? No. You can't believe what you read in the papers, not nowadays. I suppose I... I would be sent to prison. You see, I think we can help you in that respect. What do you mean? You would be willing to render us full assistance in the identification of these South American gents. Oh, gladly. In return for invaluable aid of that kind, Mr. Gormley, we could press for leniency. Or possibly, possibly, we might even be tempted to bring no charges at all. You reckon? Tell me this, Larry. What would your response be to the idea of this non-existent money being applied, tacitly and anonymously, of course, to charitable causes? Grant. Because we have a benevolent fund in the force that would be most grateful indeed for a cash contribution of that magnitude. Take it. Sergeant. You have to know. Mr. Gormley, at last I've been hunting you high up and low down. Where on earth have you been? Where the hell have you been? Do you not read the newspapers? Well, I read the stage and variety. Why do you ask? And there was me thinking I was famous. What were you after me for? I take it you do remember auditioning for me. How could I forget? Quite. Given the circumstances. However, we now have new financing, a new young producer, Nicaraguan, if you please. We start rehearsing on the first. I'd still like you for the part, if you're free, that is. Are you free? Yeah, I am. I'm free.
love me sweet never let me go you have made my life complete and i love you so love me tender love me true all my dreams fulfill for my darling i love you and i always will You can give them to the 